Hi, we are Nathan and Cara, 2016 winners of Love Island. And we're here today with Hitch to play some fun games just for you. So now we're going to play Mr and Mrs. Are you confident? I, I think that I've got this. I think we'll get everyone right. I'm not no, going to no, lie. No, we're against each other. Yeah, I know, but we will know the right and wrong yeah, answers. Yeah, so I'll get the most right. What do you mean we're against each other? Well, what does that mean? We're asked questions and it's whoever gets the most questions Yeah, but we've got right. to work together. No, no, we don't. We're against each other. Okay, well, let's just roll the queue. I definitely think I'm going to win this one. <laughs> <laughs> All day long, I'm the funniest. Don't even, yeah, yeah. Hey, Put that Nathan up. Nathan is the funniest, I yeah. can't. That's, yeah, it's just one of them things, isn't it? I can't help it. That was an easy question to start. Yeah, that was it, very easy. The oh. best answer. Oh, she can twerk. She's got the arse for Honestly, it. Honestly, if you ever see my, like, work... Can you can you just do a twerk? No, you, why don't you show us what I do? <laughs> no, I'm God, not going you, you show everyone what I do I haven't I got dance. I haven't got your features. Honestly, if you ever see our wedding video of our first dance, the, this man has It's like timing. someone had a stick up my bum. It looks like he's not well, the way he dances. <laughs> like something's happening to his body. He, is, <laughs> he, he has got the rhythm of... A dead cat? Probably, yeah. Okay. Yeah, terrible rhythm. <laughs> Next one. <laughs> oh, who's the kid's favourite? I'd say that's... you at the minute. No, but I think that's quite hard because we're both different sort of parents. Like Nathan's yeah. the fun one with tickles and like... Children! This is the voice and Nathan runs up the We had Delilah's party this week and we had it in a soft play and Nathan was in the soft play chasing the children doing this voice <laughs> like he's an old boy. Come here, children! And the children were so scared, I can't tell you. <laughs> I, was, I say it like this, I'm like, I can't see you but I can smell you. Yeah, so that so that's Nathan, but then I'm <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the practical mum. Yeah. But they're more affect quite affectionate with me lately. Affectionate with you lately, yeah, because I'm more coming down and I'm like a ton of bricks because they're both naughty. And it's really not working, so No. <laughs> oh car all day long. She dresses me now, like about two years ago, she's like, why don't you let me uh, dress you or go through the catalogue, pick some outfits out? I was like, no, I'm still in with it. But now I'm grown, come to terms. I'm a dad and I've lost the plot, so I let her. Nathan dresses very, I don't know if we can say this, but. Don't say it. What? Because <laughs> we're, we're, no, it's we're not loose horrible. fans. Nathan just dresses quite northern. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that. No, there's nothing wrong with it, but we're from the south and people from the north and the south dress a bit different. <laughs> so I like you to dress as quite, like a southern boy, like right. Kent boy, like, you know? Kent like Essex, boy. Essex e Kent no, boy. Essex boy, Kent yeah. follow Essex. No, so it's different. Okay, Because northern fine. boys don't want to dress like Essex boys, but I want you to dress more like an Essex boy, but you dress more like you're from like Manchester or something. Okay, Scotty won't like that, but okay. No, Scotty dresses really nicely, he dresses <laughs> southern. Okay, next one. <laughs> oh God, without even fat. Like she moans for no reason to moan. Like even on the way up here, she had a face like a slapped ass, like a bulldog chewing a wasp. I don't know if you can keep saying. Can you say ass? You can. All right. And I had to do a silly dance on the platform to cheer her up. Okay, but in my defence, if you're a woman and you understand that sometimes you just want to be left alone, and the only reason I moan is because I've asked you politely to do things. We've been together six years now, so there's got to be a few times that I've asked you. And they don't listen. I just don't so like then, seeing you so upset, then that, baby. That politely asking turns into moaning, and then they think they're funny and they try and be all sarcastic, <laughs> and let oh, just wind you up even more. I'm so, so good at winding her up. It's perfect. Yeah, he is. <laughs> he is. Oh God, Cara, she cooked a fantastic meal last night. What did yeah. you cook? Go. Chicken milanaise with spaghetti with mozzarella on top. And what's your favourite, uh, Your fa what was the other day you cooked just a nice Mexican? Oh, it was like mad. I had like nothing left in the fridge. I literally had potatoes, onions, peppers, and some pork kebabs. And I literally cut it all up, put all Cajun spice it on was, it. It was super. olive oil, some chilli, some garlic, threw it all in the oven like a tray bake. Put some guacamole on top, some cheese. It was great. It was like a... Making my mouth water. Like a fajita bowl. Yeah, it was good. And she's a great cook. But to be fair, you don't cook, so we don't I'm, know. You could be I'm a dab Andy on the barbecue. 8 kg brisket the other day, bop. <laughs> what do I do? It's hot two days out of the year. That's the only days you can cook, so. <laughs> on with the next one. Oh, 
Um, right, so I'll go on this one. I would say maybe you in some, because I get really bad anxiety. Yeah, so the start of it, Cara, um, and then it turned out like a bit of a shit show. No, I'm joking. No, Stop swearing. sorry, yeah, sorry, I shouldn't swear. Right, the first one, the first part of it was Cara, and then it got a bit harder towards the end, so then I took over towards the end. I get like really bad phone social anxiety, like if someone rings me, I can't answer, and obviously when you're getting married, that's not a good thing, because no. you need to talk to people, so, so then they yeah. can take over. But yeah, it was it was her at the start, and, uh, and I come through towards the end. Oh, Nathan nearly died on his duck yeah, Like did. there is picture evidence that Nathan thought he was having a heart attack <laughs> and there is a picture that got bought up at our wedding and his mum and dad didn't talk to him for a week because he was mm. lying in a bed with e ECG, is that what they're called? Like yeah. all the heart I'd monitors alcohol. in bed. He had to call the hospital because he thought he was having a heart attack. <laughs> he wasn't, he was having an anxiety. I had, I had to get my stomach pumped because I was so drunk. <laughs> his mum and dad, the, the, his best man, one who may or may not be in this room, pulled out an A... That's his fault. What size is it? A3, A2? Yeah, big. Zero. But the biggest size picture and he held Apparently it up. Apparently you could see it from space, it yeah. was that big. They held it up during the best man speech and no one knew about this. And his mum and dad didn't talk to him for a week because they was like, you've gone away on your stag do and you could have died and you've got a child. And, and, and look, how did I find out about it? Oh, I still had like, a sticker on the, the back. He thought he was really clever and he got home and he turned around and he had like one of them heart monitor stickers, like the, the flesh coloured stickers on his back. And I went, what's that on your back? He went, oh, nothing. A it's souvenir. Just, it's just a sticker. <laughs> and then Fred went into his backpack and found a letter from a hospital. It was in Spanish, but I could tell it was a hospital. I went, what is this? He went, Fred oh, the little well, grass. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then he had to tell me because otherwise he wouldn't have told me. And, and... The boys threw me in Ocean Pool, that uh, Ocean Club in Ibiza, uh, in dissolvable swimming trunks, and, and I was stark as in the, well, well, how many people were there? 5,000 people looking at me. And the water was really cold. Don't Just lie. didn't help. <laughs> so yeah, definitely 100% Nathan. Yeah. I, I went to Magaloof, got drunk, and got a tattoo of Nathan's initial. That's, that's cute. That's as exciting as mine got. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> We've all been there, don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> Who cried the most? I don't think either of us. No, cried. we're not them people. Like we, because neither of us was nervous because we was like we're just like friends and we laugh as you can yeah. see all the time. And I'm my, uh, I read out my poem that I made for Kari in Love Island, which was a good touch. Yeah, he actually did. Yeah. He said that. I've still got it indoors, actually. He has. Yeah. But yeah, no, we didn't cry. We was, it was, we was happy, but it was more like laughing as if like. Oh, we're getting married. Like, mm. what's happening? Like, yeah, no, it is. We ain't like, we ain't them people. We just, yeah, we love having fun. I was a bit upset he didn't cry when he saw my dress out because I feel like every bride wants that. So I was no, a bit upset about that. I'm a but. man, and I hard as nails. Oh, mate, I'm gonna tell you a story about this year. So Nathan, did I? I no, uh, you yeah, got, in the end, you had an Alan. No, 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 because I had an Alan. <laughs> so we, so an Alan is an Alan Freeman. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> Funny story behind this one. I had a Christine Dando dress, which she very kindly gifted me, which was beautiful. I actually had two of them, um, which I'm saving because I want to give them for Delilah when she's older. But that's not a story. Nathan, this man here, thought that he was getting. Um, a gift for his wedding suits in exchange for a lot of promotion, you know, OK Magazine, all that, you know, all this, that, didn't you? Mm. So Nathan was told one thing, the uh, wedding comes and goes, and then he gets a bill, right? Yeah, we've just, right we've just, we've just bought, We've just paid for our wedding, so we're a bit skin. And uh, we had to use our gift from our wedding money to pay for Nathan's usher's suits. Mm. Yeah, Which touchy one? subject, <laughs> still to this day. Next one! So Nathan, because we had to pay for everyone's food. Right. We ain't got all day, darling, gift. let's crack on. From our gift. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I think we, none of us were nervous. No, we weren't. No, it was We've like... had sex on TV, for Christ's sake. Oh you know, what, what else can you get nervous about? You know what I mean? Um, my father-in-law's watching me, you know? So I don't think we can get any nervous. Like, it's just, we've done that, yeah, you know? Yeah, you can explain it in a nice way. But it's, it's the truth, that's what happened. It's not no, a lie, it's no, not sugarcoat it. No, no, but I think, because 
I don't know, I just think we was very, we were both very calm about the whole thing. Like we was just excited, we was excited to see our friends. Like Fred was there, so it was a bit mad in the morning. We didn't really have time to sit and think, well, you did because you, I had Fred with me. She got the short straw there. <laughs> yeah, but I think that was what it was. I don't think we weren't excited or nothing like that. We were just, just very calm and mm. like. We had all our close people around yeah, us. Yeah, and like we've already got a house and a kid, so we knew like. We, we basically were mad. We couldn't really back out, so. Yeah. So now we're on to Mr. and Mrs. Who Knows Who Better. Uh, oh crap. Right, she's um I'd say St. Disney related. Uh my writing looks so bad. Date favourite film. Um oh god. Wait, let me have a little think. I've I'm I've gone blank. Go on. Um, oh my god, we spoke about it this the other day actually. We actually had a conversation. Favourite film? I'd say it's not something Disney related. Um, Two hours later. <laughs> <laughs> I like Spongebob. Uh, 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 I can't wait to see what you write, it's going to be great. Oh, wait a minute, I'm having a right cough. Do you know how to spill it? Wait a minute. Um, okay, it's wrong, but I've. Just gone, yeah, go on. Okay, three, two, one. I'd say you're on Shawshank Redemption. I've never seen that film in my life. <laughs> I've never seen Why would it be that? What have you put for me? Layer cake? Yeah, yeah, layer cake. Shawshank, yeah? I don't know, I'll panic. Bruh, like, there are so many films in the world and you what went was, Shawshank. I, I don't know, what is it? I don't know. Well, like the other day, we were talking, you could have even put like a star is born or something. Like, oh, yeah. we were talking just, about my, that the other day. My brain went completely blank, like, honestly. It went to mad places. <laughs> it was mad places, places have never been before. Can I put two? Um. Okay, yeah, that's good. Right, so. <laughs> okay, that's good. I think, right, so now you've got to guess mine and I've got to guess yours. So, what do you think your one is? I think you're going to put fighting. <laughs> bing, bing! <laughs> what have I put? Um, burping. No. Scratching my toes. No, um, that is a bad one though. Uh, scratching my toes. Um, burping. Uh, uh, oh, what don't you, oh, chewing. Yeah, eating. Loudly, yeah, and eating. Um, that you do all the time, and it just, it, it does sound to me. I'll show you. Phone loud, yeah. You know, like when you're, you know, when you're sitting trying to watch telly and the phone, it's just, they're sitting there on Instagram or TikTok and it oh, just yeah. blares something. Well, I've got like, one oh, right, I've got one right, yeah. And yeah, Nathan, if you ever see Nathan eat, I apologise, because I've never seen no one eat like it. And Cara actually wakes her kids up because she farts so yeah, loud. Yeah, and what, that's a normal bodily function. Mate, eating, no, but your one eating is like ridiculous. That is not, it's like you've got a microphone under your bottom. Yeah, well, I'm a healthy person. I eat a very good diet. <laughs> uh, I got it. There's so many. <laughs> like, where would I go with this? Oh, no, no, I'm going to put... I can see it, Carl, so... What is it then? Because I've written no. nothing, so what can you say? No, but I can see you're bald. Well, it doesn't matter. You're not... You can't copy me because we've both got different opinions. <laughs> okay. Go on. What do you think your one is? Pasta. Pasta? No, sushi. <laughs> yeah, that was close second, but like, I love pasta. Right, my one, uh, what you've put is, I reckon... You had it yesterday. Cake and custard? Yes! <laughs> cake, cake and custard. custard. Oh, mate, can't be. It's got to be sponge cake as well. Especially a Tottenham cake from Greg's with a nice bit oh, of custard. Greg's Devon Tottenham custard. Cake. Oh, it's lovely. Cake and custard. Or red velvet. Red quite velvet a good one. and custard, yeah. It's yeah. lovely. It's no good yeah, for you. Yeah, sushi was second. Yeah, well, I knew it was there. I just love the texture of I thought we ran the call from sex to sexy fish and everything like that, you know? Off, oh, mate. You know you got. You know where you are. You know where I want to go, and it's, it's funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one else wants to go there. Where would you go? Shit, that's put me under pressure. Uh, um, what, like a place or an activity? I'm just going to put it because it's very relevant, and it is your favourite restaurant. 
Go on. Sexy fish. Yeah, Greg's. Greg's stuff. You Dis didn't put Greg. Disneyland. No, like if we was going for a date for food, what do I always say, Joe? Oh, I would have put the Greg's, yeah, but I thought we meant a, di a date. What do I always say? Well, Disneyland, that's No, good but food. like if we was going for food, what do I always say about like restaurants? Yeah, no, she'd have a little Greg's. Honestly, and Greg's. if someone said there's a hundred pound, you'd go to a restaurant, I'd say, I swear to God. Get a lot for hundred pound. I would go and get all. a steak slice, a sausage roll, a can of Red Bull, a Tottenham slice. Nice and I'd cheap be date, so my, my happy. wife. Can't beat it. I don't know what they'd put in it, but I don't want to know what they put in it, but <laughs> it's the best. Ah, all what, day to, long to shag. Uh, okay. Um, Oh, I don't know how to spell her name. Right, I've got her. Him. <laughs> I've definitely spelled her name wrong. But you'll get the gist. Right, so yours is Hayley Baldwin. What, that's who I want to go with? No, that's who I would go with, yeah? Yeah. No, Bieber now. Huh? She's Bieber. Oh, Hayley Bieber, yeah. yeah. That's how you put, who is mine? Jason Momoa. Yeah. Four could be a closer... <laughs> Close one now, but yeah. Have you seen how I spent, spelt it? How well, did you spell Jason, it? Jason, blah, 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 blah. Show me. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, ma, 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 blah, 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 blah. It's, <laughs> it's changing ever so slightly, mine, though. Is it? It might be one of the Beverly Hills MILFs. <laughs> what one? I don't know, there's a few. Yeah. So, little drum roll. And the winner is Cara. She done well Yay. there. Um, I let the winners up. So thank you for watching us playing Mr. and Mrs. We've Hitched and we'll see you soon.